So far, we have been looking at some of the cognitive foundations and the more theoretical parts of how we perceive sounds and actions and music and motion. But as music researchers, we, we actually study these things also in a, in a laboratory context. So, Christian, uh, I know that you have been working in the lab and running experiments on sounds and actions. Could you, could you tell a little bit about this? Sure. Um, I've been uh, studying how people move to short sounds, uh, presenting them with simple sounds with, for instance, changing pitch and spectral centroid and dynamic em envelope, and then asking them to, to move to the sound. So uh, people then have, have moved in various ways, and we've found quite a few things that are consistent uh, even between people. Yes. And what type of, type of things? Uh, the most obvious, uh, I would say, is, is uh, pitch and verticality. Uh, almost everybody would trace uh, uh, an ascending pitch with uh, going up. Mm -hmm. uh, and the same uh, vice versa, mm. going down. Yeah. Mm. Uh, spectral centroid also, if you have a, a sound that goes like whoosh, people would trace that also upwards. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's in the frequency domain and the verticality is, is a strong connection. Um, and things like the dynamic envelope, uh, which would typically uh, identify sounds that are impulsive, say something like which has a, st a strong uh, ascending uh, curve first and then falling slowly, uh, as opposed to something that's uh, a continuous sound with continuous energy put into the sound, where people would trace the sound with a different type of, uh, of uh, movement. Uh, for instance, these uh, impulsive sounds are typically uh, traced with an impulsive action and uh, the continuous sounds with some continuous action like pushing the sound through space, for instance. Um, and one of the very interesting things here is if you have two opposing ideas in the same sound, for instance, ascending pitch and then descending spectral envelope, people will get confused when trying, often starting following one of these curves and then in the middle not being able to decide whether to continue upwards or to start going downwards, for instance. And is this the same for all your subjects? I mean, also independent of the musical background or training they have? Mostly this is uh, quite consistent among uh, both musical experts and, and novices, yes. Hmm, interesting. Mm. But this is for, for simple sounds that are maybe not really music in itself. Uh, do you have any ideas on, um, on, on the musical aspect here? If you present music to people, uh, how does this make people move? Yeah, I've been doing some research where we've been looking at, at uh, the same type of connection, but from music to, to more large-scale motion, and uh, playing, for example, musical excerpts to people and asking them to move freely or to play an air instrument like air guitar or air drums or air piano or even conduct just to kind of follow contours in the music. And it's very interesting to see how through the body motion we can understand more about the cognitive processes of people. Uh, for example, when people are asked to play uh, air piano, uh, we would assume that they know kind of the size of a piano and also how it's lay laid out and, and the, both the kind of the attacks of an onset of tones, but also the, for example, the frequency range of this. And, the interesting thing is that even people without any musical training at all, um, they manage to do this, this very well, really. So, so, in a way, people are more musical than, than they believe, um, I think. So, but based on, on this then, um, there are some obvious connections then, both between sounds and actions, and also music and motion. And this, this may actually be a very interesting uh, thing to try out at home, uh, to, to take a few musical excerpts and, and try to imagine how you would move to, uh, to these excerpts and then try to actually move to them. And also ask a friend to move and look at how is the movement in relation to various types of sonic and, and musical features. Try yourself and see.